what's good youtube and returning life gainers we're talking about some of the things you need to do to get fit in 2018 and this is no specific order these are all the different things you got to prepare yourself to do to get fit the loop you're watching right now was me winning the Gold's Gym Challenge for my particular store. And this is me weighing in after going through the 12 week process. So shouts out to folks that are doing this this year as a method to get themselves fit. Number one on my list is you have to change your mindset and set goals. Dieting is very tough. The world is nothing but food and you all know that. We do so many different things with food from relying for it for our emotional stability to we need it to survive. And so you've got to somehow another set in your mind that you're going to hit specific goals that you know are healthy, such as maybe you are addicted to drinking sugary sodas. You cut that out. Maybe you are addicted to eating sugary foods. You have to cut that out and you set specific times to cut it out. You also set, set specific goals you want to reach within your diet and training, which don't necessarily have to be about the scale. It can be about shrinking, you know, from a triple X like I was to just an extra large. And then you reevaluate yourself. So that would be number one on my list. Change your mindset and set goals. Number two would be plan. You have to plan ahead to make it in fitness because just as you're riding in your car, you're passing by a restaurant. And if you've been dieting for about two weeks and that smell smacks you straight in the nose and you don't got food prepared that is on your meal plan, you might just fall and succumb to that temptation of going to McDonald's and getting those nasty ass fat ass fries and putting them in your body. You don't want to do that. So planning ahead consists of you meal prep, you get the junk out of your home. So I used to have a cabinet of sweets and I would do everything else on my plan, but leave those sweets in there. And when times got very desperate, I got very lonely. What do you think I was doing? I was in the kitchen, butterball naked, eating a sneakers bar and then be having to worry about it the next day. So you plan ahead, you, you plan your workouts. You plan your meal prep and you do it. You stick to it and you make this a routine and you go forward with that routine. Um, a study one time said it takes 21 days to form a habit and only seven days to break it. Think about that. You work your ass off for 21 days to form a good habit in fitness or anything else in life. And in seven days, you can break it. Ladies and gentlemen, plan make yourself a plan and that will help you in your fitness goals number three on this list create a workout plan now with my clients that i train in person and my online clients most of them have just gotten off the couch and it only takes two days of total body training plus about three days of about 30 minutes of cardio and all my clients have seen major results. I don't think I've had a client I've ever worked with that needed to lose a lot of weight that didn't lose 30 pounds over the course of about three months working on that exact plan. And if you don't have a workout plan, you can go through my training videos and I've got total body videos I've done with my clients that you guys can utilize yourself. But you have to create a workout plan and you have to stick to it and be ironclad with it. Don't let anyone derail you from sticking to that workout plan. And you only train as heavy as you can go. You go as heavy as you can go for hypertrophy reps, meaning that if you're gonna do legs, you're trying to stay within 12 to 15. And if you're doing upper body, you wanna stay within eight to 10. And abs, you wanna keep that one high reps too, so about 15 reps. But don't let abs be the main thing you do in your diet but you've got to create a workout plan and you stick to it. Number four on this list, you have to track your progress. And what do I mean when I say track your progress? Meaning you track your food, you track your weight, you track your workouts. And there's an app that I love called Fat Secret that is very, very easy to use. And it does all of those things for you. But there's something else I want you to do in tracking your progress so that you can have some data to go back and look at. 
when you start your fitness goals, I want you to weigh in and I want you to take pictures front, back and side, just like I did for this goals gym challenge. And month to month, I want you to take more pictures so that you can track your progress because sometimes you'll get discouraged if the scale is not dropping. But when you look at your pictures and you can see that, okay, I've lost inches in my stomach, I've lost inches in my arm, I'm seeing development in places I've never seen it before, that can be the boost and the inspiration and motivation you need that you've created for yourself that helps get you beyond that threshold point where you felt like just quitting. Guys, being physically fit just provides you so many more opportunities in life. It gives you more quality time with your family. It allows you to become a leader and a beacon in your family. It allows you to have greater quality of life as you age. And it also allows you to avoid some of those systemic disorders that we tend to have as we age. And so those are my fitness quotas, fitness ideas, fitness philosophy to help get you moving in 2018 so that you can reach your goals. And if you're looking for that online coach that's going to be there for you, that can give you some support, I want you to go to www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07. Get up with me. Click on one-on-one -on -one training and I can help you guys get moving with your goals and see to it that you stick to it in 2018 to be the most fit you as possible. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go out there, get yourself that life gain. Let's go out there and get fit in 2018. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.